Hi guys. Welcome to the last video for Mummy Melody. Well, this isn't the last last video, but this is the last video for the first one. Being weak and alone all the time, you are my very first friend. And because you want to be happy, I'll name you Fuku-chan, a memory of long ago. Big brother Bahito-chan, Bahito-chan, I was looking through the storehouse and I found this. Did you used to own a bird? Once, one, two. That's... There was a white sparrow that was too valuable to lay out of its cage. I locked up in exactly the same way. No, its owner was you. Eh? But it looks like birds have the m most fun when they're flying freely through the air. Besides, has big brother Vahito around, so yes, that's true. Be Sorry. It's all right. Even without having to lock them up, you have special people who are by your side. Always watching over you. The end. And the last one. Say, Kaito. Hmm? Oh, nothing. I'm so happy, Kaito. Jeez. It's been nearly nine years since that time that we first met. Lucia. I'm happy too. What's that heat? Tomorrow night you will be going to see the world above the waves, will you? You are aware that this new moon ceremony is permitted only to mermaids who are approaching maturity. Such learning is not for mermaids who have yet to reach the age of 13. I know. You must never show yourself to the humans. If that were to happen, it would bring unhappiness to that mermaid. W worse, to the entire country of that mermaid. What a bunch of lies. When I asked her, she said that all this talk of humans living above the sea is just a fairy tale. This thing about unhappiness must be a fib too. But it's written in my favorite book. It says that in the world above there is sky and stars and true love with a handsome prince. It makes my heart race. <laughs> That's a pretty high fever. Who'd have thought that she'd catch a cold now? Kaito-kun, I know it's spring, but you too have to... Remember that it's still very chilly. You shouldn't be out doing those things that make you catch cold. Stop that. She caught it from Hippo, didn't she? That would be very unusual. Colds caught by a hippocampus are never passed to mermaids. Prepare to die. Ah, I told you that we didn't do anything. We just kissed. Lucia. Everybody, look, Lucia's pendant has opened up. It would be unthinkable for a pendant that holds a precious pearl to open on its own. Lucia? Yeah, look, Nicola, those are stars. They're amazing. <laughs> I had to come along. The stars are twinkling. They're so pretty. 
for some reason, they leave me breathless. There are flowers blooming in the sky. Wow. There's a ship. Humans. Oh no, hurry. Haha. <laughs> what cowards. I can hear someone singing. A clear voice. It makes me want to sing too. Who are you, my prince? You're a mermaid. You must never allow humans to see you. Uh, are you going to tell the other humans about me? I won't say a word, but you shall have a pretty voice. Let's sing together. Probably the main reason that singing this song is so fun is because I'm singing with this boy. I wish we could sing like this forever. What's that sound? Kia! Hmm, I don't get it. Mermaids are susceptible to fevers. Lucia Sun's body won't be able to take it if this goes on for much longer. Also, the light of a pearl is getting weaker too. Could it be that the fatigue from Val is finally catching up with her? Besides, she also was protecting Sarah's pearl in her pendant for most of that time too, eh? Are you saying that when the fragments of my heart was stolen, Lucia put my pearl in her own pendant and all that time it was stealing her strength? Is this true? Calm down, Sarah. I wasn't blaming you. That's right. Lucia's just that kind of person. She may cons constantly have a smile on her face, but she's always thinking of others. Why don't you all get a little rest? I'll stay by Lucia's side. Okay, Kaito-kun, take care, huh? Could this be the fate of a poor Lucia hanging there? Nikolasun, is something the matter? I guess there's something that I think you should know. Taki-sama, might you know where Lucia-sama is right now? No, I haven't seen her. Besides something strange in the Indian Sea. This could be a calamity. Lucia Sama is our country's princess. If anything were to happen to her, it is my fault. I kept that knowledge from her, and this is what came of it. I have seen the future in the pose of countless mermaids at the time of their births, but no princess. Have I seen such shining nobility, nor have I seen such deep darkness of suffering as I saw in the poor of Lucia-sama? In my confusion, I thought to rise, I mean, raise Lucia-sama as a normal mummy until such an age as she could be told of her destiny. Perhaps I should have told her anyway. I never expected it. <clears throat> events to progress so quickly. The, then Lucia Sama is Aqua Regina Sama. Please protect our one only and irreplaceable princess. I wonder what destiny Lucia Sama's pearl has in store for. Who'd have thought that such a fate was hidden inside her pearl? But back then Lucia wasn't Wait, even in her vows with Gakdo and she triumphed. I wonder if this time, the very time when happiness should have come for her, but it could be that her suffering was still to come. Weakened by all of her vows, Lucia may know. Sarah, Lucia used all of her energy to fight for the peace of the sea and the survival of this planet until she was reduced to this. But despite all of that, I felt extra pain to Lucia. Lucia, you aren't somebody who'd let a little thing like this take you down. You've been a strong girl right from the start. Not even then. I can't breathe. What's happening? You must never show yourself to the humans. If that were to happen, it would bring unhappiness to that mermaid worse to the entire country of that mermaid. 
But it was so much fun. How can it be wrong? That's... Oh no, it's that boy. I'll save you. I won't let anything stop me. I am going to... I won't... Let anything stop me. Lucia! That's right. What future do you see on the night of the falling stars? This wasn't the future that I saw. This is too hard. I can't go on. Mermaid son. So don't give up. I'll always be here to save you. What? What is this from light? Aqua Regina Sama, please find a way to protect my princess. Even I cannot change the fate that lies within that pool. This destiny has been placed upon the princess by this entire world. A closed gate <clears throat> recently opened in the deep sea, and an ancient soul once more burst forth in brilliant flame, and space and time saw the birth of a certain hatred, rage, sadness, and solitude. But why must Lucia have such a fate thrust upon her? Rose's tiny pearl is in trust with the light of the future of the entire world. For now, all you can do is believe and pray that an insignificant pink pearl on can glow with an unimaginable brilliance. Wake up! Hey, wake up! What? Well, what well, I'll do? My pearl. Your pearls are very precious things. Treat them as if they were your very life. You must keep them close to your body forever. But I want to. I want so much to save you. Are you sure about this war? Aqua Regina Sama, yes. You see, Aqua Regina Sama, this boy was singing a wonderful song. He must be the owner of a truly gentle heart. War, war. Aqua Regina Sama, I have forgotten it was Kaito who saved me there beneath the sea, and it was you who lent me strength to live. From that time until the day I was able to find him in my pool again. <sighs> to my princess of the pink pool who took on the... Um... Of fates and yet had the most gentle and strong heart. You have done well. You have lived to the extent your strength was... Pillow, you have seen much sorrow, hatred, love, and friendship, and you have sung many melodies. Aqua Regina Sama, I can no longer say, Lord, can you hear it? The prayer spinning, spinning the past and present, I'll feel for you. It is time for me to entrust the future of world to someone else. Take up hands with those irreplaceable friends of yours. Combine your strengths and make your future. Now, Lucia, awaken. Aqua Regina, Sama. I became stronger because everyone was there with me. But Kaito, it all began with you. You're always the one protecting me, aren't you? Good morning, Kaito. Lucia. Sarah. Lucia, I'm happy that you're all there. Thank you. I'm sorry for having co caused you, boy. It's all right. How can Lucia take on the burden of such a fate? Sarah, I... Willie, really, I was so scared. The more I realized just what good princesses you were, the more I lost my confidence. And now you have an even bigger destiny in Aqua Regina Sama's place. Sarah. But I'll do my best. 
I want to feel in my own heart the same thing that you found when you were singing with the other princesses. And maybe I'll become a good princess like all the rest of you are. Yes, I'm sure you will. Will I fall in love? Yep, for sure, for sure. I'll give it my best. After all, the future belongs to us. Just when I think you're well, you go wandering off, you dummy. I'm so glad I met you. Thank you. I'm only here because you're here with me. Honestly, you're always like this. From the moment I met you now and from now on, we always will always be in love. Kaito, I love you. You are destined to be my prince. That day is when it all began. Is that a pickup line? The end. Okay. <clears throat> and that's the end of the first mummy melody. <sighs> um, I rate it, um, 10 out of 10. But I have to rate it 9 out of 10 because of the anime. Um, it was supposed to have a dub in English. Um, this is based off of the anime as well. Like, it does... Um, a dub out there um the rating also counts so yeah bye